Types of variation, direct variation. A direct variation is a variation that can be expressed through the general formula on screen. X and Y represent possible values of the two quantities involved in the variation, while K is the constant of proportionality that provides the value of each individual ratio or rate involved in variation. More specifically, the constant K represents the quotient of division between any vertical coordinate to the corresponding horizontal coordinate in the variation graph. Obviously, direct variation is very similar to direct proportion we discussed in tutorial 4.3. The graph that geometrically represents the direct variation is a straight line that passes through the origin. Example 1. An employee is paid $25 per hour. Plot the graph indicating the variation of his daily salary from the working hours. Solution 1. This is a situation involving a direct variation as the daily salary is directly proportional to the number of working hours. The more working hours are committed, the higher the daily salary. If we denote the working hours by x and the daily salary by y, we obtain the variation shown on screen, where 25 is the value of the constant of proportionality k given in the general formula of direct variation now shown on screen. We can stop to the number 8 in the values of working hours as an employee usually works 8 hours a day when employed full time. Thus, the graph showing this, direct, variation is as shown on screen, from the graph. It is evident that at the end of the working day, the employee earns $200. We can find any missing value when we know the variation formula, as in the next example. Example 2. The quantity x and y vary directly and y equals 6 when x equals 18. What is the value of x when y equals 102? Solution 2. First, we find the constant k of variation, proportionality. Since the general formula of direct variation is y equals k times x, we obtain the following. Thus the formula of this specific variation is as follows. Now, substituting y equals 102 into the formula just shown, we yield the following. That is all for lesson 4.5.3, to continue this tutorial please watch, 4.5.4, Types of Variation, Inverse Variation. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.